It is raining cats and dogs here in Florida, and I'm not just saying that. That's what my Davis weather station says. Hello friends, here's a video here, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. I've had a lot of people ask in the last, I don't know, six months or so, you know, I made a video on this Davis Vantage Pro 2 weather station and they said, hey Eric, what's, what's going on with this thing? I'm pleased to announce that I'm going to make this quick video and I'm going to take this down to clean it up and service it. Now, this has been up, I just had to check myself, this has been up since May 2017. I haven't touched this thing and it does show that when I look at it, but here's the thing. Uh, there's a couple things that I'd like to show you that you may want to consider when you're talking about one of these weather stations just for maintenance. You, get, you know, you got to maintain everything. You can't just leave it up there and expect it to run forever. But what I can tell you is this thing has not failed yet. It's been almost two years. Three months from now, it'll be two years since I put this thing up and I haven't done a darn thing to it. I did get this from weathershack.com. This is the Davis Vantage Pro 2. And my little lizard buddy there, let's zoom in on him. He must have made this a home. Anyways, uh, sorry, because we're going to have to clean your home out here. Um, there's a lot of stuff on here that you can see, this mildew that's on this thing. Of course, the zip tie is dry rotted. Uh, mildew on here. Um, that lizard just almost got that bug, and I would have got that on camera. That would have been epic. Um, and some other stuff. Like, uh, actually, he's watching me now. Look at him. He's watching me, he's like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> Anyways, uh, you know, stuff like this up here, you know, there's spider webs that have, there's cobwebs in that thing, you know? And you gotta clean those kind of things. But we're gonna take this down, I'll let him have his home, although he's gonna vacate for the moment. And we'll just touch this thing up, clean it up, and I'll show you the inside unit, uh, you know, what I feel about it after a year and a half. And uh, yeah, is this a wise investment? Well, it has been for me. And a lot of people ask, so hopefully they're watching this video that says, okay, I can see now that after almost two years, this thing has been maintenance free and it's been working fine. This thing has went through Hurricane Irma. This thing has went through uh, multiple storms, um, multiple summer and winter storms. So let's uh, take it down and check it out. All right, so the first thing that I wanna see is I wanna open this control box. This is where all your electronics are, the battery and such, solar panel. I haven't opened this uh, since I've put it up. So if I can get this open one-handed. <sighs> one-handed is a little bit of a challenge. There we go. Okay, so if I pop this off, I can see in here that there is no real evidence of water intrusion. Um, that battery is the original. I'm not sure again how long that lasts. I'll have to uh, double check my stats here. The RJ45 or RJ11s that are not plugged in, they have some kind of a contact grease there. It looks like it's turning a little bit yellow, but other than that, pretty good for being there almost two years. I mean, there's really no corrosion, no water intrusion, nothing like that. Um, I will brush this out, clean it up, hit this with uh, Vaseline, put the cover back on so that it's ready for another couple of years. Okay, and um, so we'll, we'll clean that up in a second. All right. Now the next is the, the rain catcher up here. These are the spikes here for the, the birds. They don't use it as a toilet, you know. And um, now I have, I have opened this or popped this off and cleaned it out only a couple of times. I guess in the backyard I don't have very many leaves that fall. But basically you can turn this like this and it pops right off, okay. And you can see that little tiny hole there. That's why you have to make sure that's clean because if you don't clean out that screen, that little filter in there, the great catch all screen, whatever, you're going to lose your you know, your efficiency on the rain collector. It'll block it up. Um, and that just pops, it just pops right out like this. See? And then you can clean that out. But that's been about two months since I cleaned out. That's easy to do. I haven't taken this down yet. Here's the rain tipper. You can see I have a little bit of funk in there from all that time. So um, that'll wipe right out. That's just kind of yuck. But uh, other than that, you know, the, the stuff in here, um, the wiring and stuff, it seems that it's, it's dumping it right off into the, 
the outlets there so it's not it doesn't look like there's any kind of water intrusion or any kind of you know damage in here from that so that's very good very good at the rain and of course if this thing is picking up in my house it's going to tell me i'm raining right now but it's not raining so the um like i said here's the the cable here you can see this has got all kinds of mildew that's the way it came wrapped from the factory i did cut the dry rod zip ties off but i left this just the way it is now if i have it my way i'm going to relocate this one day and use this slack to put the, the wind sensor way above my roof because it, it I think sometimes when it's blowing 30, 40 miles an hour and it's only showing me 20, uh, it, dep it depends on which way the wind's coming from. Sometimes the wind's coming from the east and I have huge brush over there which is blocking the wind. So I think I need to get it up higher to get an accurate reading from all different directions. But I'm gonna spray this off with some mild bleach and water because I don't want to damage this. Um, I could scrub it up with soap and water but a little bit of bleach water, you know, spray it down, wipe it off without deteriorating the the cable here. I don't want it to go bad. And then here is um, my, here's the, the anemometer slash direction vein, whatever you call that. And you can see here on the cups, the spider at one point must have been on a still night. He built himself a nest right there, you know, and caught all kinds of stuff. So this right here will affect your wind performance. So you want to make sure those are, I mean, think about this. This thing's moving almost every day. I mean, there's only a couple days out of the year that there's not a drop of wind anywhere. So that must have happened one night when this thing was still, or that guy was on a roller coaster making that web in there. But other than that, um, just you want to keep this thing free spinning and keep the webs out of it. Um, so that's one thing you want to keep in consideration. So underneath, Let's look under the main unit here. So underneath we have some mildew that's expected because the water drains out from the top and it goes through here. This is your um, air, this is your temperature sensor in here so the air can move through here and keep it accurate temperature. And if you notice, let's see, I did safely let the lizard jump off. He'll get his home later. If I could find, there it is. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. A wasp made his nest in there. See if you can see that. I don't know if you can. It's way in there. There's a wasp nest that was made right, right in there. So always with things that are hanging in Florida, they, they like to uh, make you know nests where things hang so they have an overhang for rain. Um, but he hasn't been in there in quite some time because I looked at that months ago and that nest was still there and there was no wasp in there so he must have gave up. But other than that, um, I'm going to clean this up and uh, we'll put it back on the air um, and I'll, I'll show you inside real quick what I think about the inside console. But this again is basically just a video to show, you know, a lot of people asked, how's that thing doing? That's a lot of money to pay for that. It is. And I was always wanting, always wanted a professional weather station, but I was afraid to shell out the money, but it's definitely been a uh, great investment for me. So that's the whole reason I'm making this video. All right, so I cleaned it off. I used some uh, bleach with water, light bleach. I put it in a uh, pump, you know, pump sprayer, which you see there. And I basically sprayed it down, let it sit for a second, hosed it off, cleaned off what I could. Got the cups cleaned out here. Whoops, they're nice and clean. Did the best I could on the wire here, but all the mildew was off the front of this. Um, all the mildew is off the, the fins on the bottom, you know, just cleaning it up. And uh, I put new zip ties on here. And that'll be pretty much it. Hopefully that thing lasts another couple of years. So the inside unit's been fine. The only couple of quirks I have with it are this. Number one, it's not 83 in my house. Now you can see the rain on here is from me just washing it out. Actually, I sprayed the inside of the cup and it put a half an inch of rain on there. And the temperature 66 is probably a little bit low because I cooled it down in the shade with some rain, let it dry. So that's got to come back up. But other than that, um, with the console here, it's been running fine. The range is great. The only issue I have is it's not 83, and I think that's because when I turn the light on in here and it sits for a couple hours with the light on, that generates a little bit of heat with, uh, you know, it, without proper case ventilation on this Davis, that the heat gets built up inside and it makes it think that it's 83 inside when it's not. Um, other than that, the C batteries that this thing runs on, um, don't last long. I have this thing plugged in 
and uh, with the batteries in there, for some reason it eats batteries. And even if I have it plugged in, the batteries are dead after I unplug it, after it's been sitting for a while, running on power. So the battery thing needs some help. Uh, totally eats C batteries no matter what kind I buy. But other than that, the unit's been reporting fine. It shows me my, you know, my, my average wind speed over 24 hours and my max wind speed and all that stuff. So it's been good to me. So there it is back up. I didn't have the great big zip ties, so I had to double up the little ones. Only thing I can say is be careful using mild bleach or detergents because look what happened here. The little D wiping off now. I guess the chemical reacted with that. Maybe I let it sit on there too long. I'm not sure. But uh, other than that, you know, it's spinning once again. It has been spinning, but it's spinning freely once again. And everything's clean. The lizard can live back in his home. And um, the Davis Vantage Pro 2 trucking along. So here's an update for you guys that were asking. Thanks for watching. More videos on the way.